Hi kids, it's me again. I'm glad you're here for story time, Tiny Tots with me. I want to start with a song again, this one just like last time, except this time let's do a different song. Let's do Old MacDonald Had a Farm. I know that's usually one of your favorites. And so let's see, I can't ask you for what animals you want, so I'm going to try to read your mind. I think one of you is thinking about a bear, huh? Old MacDonald had a bear on his farm? And I think another one, I think I can picture exactly who wants to say this, has a dinosaur. And I think another one wants a police dog. I hear that one all the time. So we got a bear, a dinosaur, and a police dog. You ready to sing with me? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a bear. E-I-E-I-O, with a rah rah here and a rah rah there. Here rah there rah everywhere rah rah. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a Tyrannosaurus Rex. E-I-E-I-O, with a chomp chomp here and a chomp chomp there. Here a chomp, there a chomp, everywhere rah rah. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a police dog. He needed a police dog because he needed to get rid of these bad animals. E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof, get out of here. And a woof woof, get out of here. Everywhere a woof woof, everywhere get out of here. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Oh, awesome, thanks for singing with me. I know I get a little crazy, but you gotta put up with me because I'm the one in the video. Ha <laughs> ha, we got the book today. You ready for that now? Paddington sets sail. Paddington's a lot of a fun of a, a bear. He's got a lot of things that he does. And so this book is all about him setting sail, floating in the water. Let's see what it's about. One morning, Mr. Brown had a surprise. We're taking a trip to the beach, he said. I wish there was a beach in Lubbock. But maybe you've gone to the beach before too, maybe by Houston or Corpus Christi or somewhere in Texas or somewhere else. The beach is a lot of fun. You get to play on the sand. Paddington, Jonathan, and Judy cheered. Yay, we're going to the beach. Mrs. Brown and Mrs. Bird were excited too. Paddington had never been to the beach. He did not know what to bring, so he packed everything. Do you think that was a good thing for him to do? Could you pack everything if you went to the beach? Would you have enough room in the car? Soon they were on their way. Paddington poked his head out the window. He sniffed the salty sea air. At the beach, Paddington got a pail, shovel, sunglasses, and a float. He was ready for anything. The tide was low, so they went in the water. Jonathan and Judy splashed and swam. Paddington floated in the waves. At lunch, Mr. Brown had a great idea. He said, let's have a sandcastle contest. Paddington, Judy, and Jonathan would each make a sandcastle. The biggest castle would win. Who do you think is going to win? Paddington wanted to win. First, he found a perfect spot. He dug a moat. That means it's the empty water canal thing around the castle so it protects the castle. He carried pails and pails of sand. He made walls and windows. Look at that, it's looking pretty cool. Paddington placed his hat on top of the castle. Finally, he was done. Paddington's big sand castle was perfect. Paddington sat inside his castle. Sandcastle work was hard, and he was tired. Then he fell asleep. Oh no, the tide had come in. It knocked down Paddington's sandcastle. It carried Paddington's pail out to sea with Paddington in it. What's he gonna do? The Browns were worried. It was getting late. They found Paddington's hat, but could not find Paddington. Where had he gone? <clears throat> then the brown spotted people gathered near the pier. They ran toward the crowd. It was Paddington. See what happened? What, what, what happened? <gasps> Somebody 
caught him with a fishing pole so that they could bring him in. People believed that Paddington had floated all the way across the sea. They took his picture. Did you float here in this pail? A girl asked. Yes, I use my shovel as a paddle, said Paddington. The sun was setting. It was time to go home. Did you enjoy your trip, Paddington? asked Judy. Yes, not many bears go to sea in a bucket, he said. The Browns were so happy to have Paddington back. Today's trip was a bit shorter than when you came from darkest Peru, said Mr. Brown. Paddington did not hear. He was fast asleep, probably from all that paddling with his shovel in the bucket. Thanks for reading with me today, and I hope you join us for our next video. Take care.